this video I'll show you how to make the front main tube for the fat tire mini bike frame. Start a new sketch. And I, again, I will start with the path that I'm going to sweep. And these dimensions are coming from my concept sketch that I'm starting with. And so that'll evolve. I may have to change some of these dimensions as I go. And I do need to dimension this angle here, which, oops. Now, again, I don't know about these dimensions. This is my kind of concept here. I may have to change these dimensions. I may have to change the angle. But at least it's a reasonable, I think it's a reasonable starting point. And uh, we're going to bend this, so don't forget to put a radius on there. And again, I'm going to use a 3 inch, but you should not, 3 inch is too tight if you're using something bigger than a 0.75 diameter tube. So this is kind of a really small frame, so be careful about what radius you use. So there's my sketch of the path. So now I need to put my cross section in there. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a work plane. Go to features plane. Now again, the way this works is click on the endpoint of that path and then click on the path itself and that'll give you a plane that's perpendicular to the path that you can sketch on. All right, so we want to sketch on there. Control 8 and in hollow tubing, so you need two circles. Do not draw this as a solid bar. It's not solid. Finish the sketch. So there's my path and there's my cross section. Again, because I'm going around a corner there, I can't extrude it. I have to sweep it. The cross section, it's already been chosen because it's the last sketch I did. Otherwise, you just would click on that. And then here's my path. It's in blue. So just click on the path and it'll sweep the path. And there's my tube. Now, I do need to notch this one as well. But this one's a little bit trickier. The way it's going to sit in the frame here... I have another piece of tubing that comes. Let's see. Let's get a better view. This is going to butt up to a piece of tubing that's horizontal. So I need to notch it horizontally. So what I'm going to need is a plane to work about. So let's see about which plane I need. It's actually that, that right plane. So I'll turn that on. So if I can sketch this right along there I can make that work. Um, I'm also going to need to know, let me turn that plane on, I need to know where I am horizontally. So uh, I'm going to sketch a round sketch here and I'm going to cut through the tube. And you can be as far away or as close away. I can, I can move this over if that makes you more comfortable. Let's just do that. I'll create a new plane. I'm going to offset it over. I don't have to be touching or anything. Let's get close. Ooh, that's pretty close. Let's go with that. Okay, so I can turn that right plane off now. I don't really need that. But I do, do need a horizontal location. So let's take this plane here. And let's offset it up. Now, on my original sketch, I had that at 11 inches. 
it turns out again after uh, the second iteration I was really close it turned out to be 11.06 inches so you probably would never ever notice that anyway so I'm cheating a little bit because I've been through this one time okay let's turn that plane off it's just in the way so now I need a sketch on plane 2 control 8 so when I say I cheated, I'm just, you'll have to go through these iterations. I've just already been through that. And I want to put a, do a sketch here. And I need it to be on the center. And if you can't find the center, what we need to do is either turn on that mid plane, that front plane. We can do that or we can create an axis. Uh, either way, that should give us a reference. So let's go back to sketch. I gotta make sure I'm on the right plane there. I think I might be on the wrong plane. Sketch plane two. So I want to be right there at the center, and again, that's just going to be whatever the diameter of my tubing is, which in this case is three quarter. Finish that sketch, and I'm going to so, so see what I have there is that sketch right there, and I'm going to cut it through. Now I outsmarted myself. I put this plane so close. I'm just going to have to cut in both directions. Not a big deal. So use extrude cut. And you can, you know, if you want to do through all, that's fine as well. So through all, go to direction two, through all that way. Uh, just be careful you don't cut into something unintentional when you do a through all. So there's my cut. Let me turn off these planes here. So see how that's notched? When I butt that up against a piece of horizontal tubing, it should fit right into that notch. So there's my next piece of tubing. Now something I didn't show you on the other one, let's let's save this thing. So what I did initially is I created a folder. Now I did it on my desktop, but I created a folder to save all these details in. So when you build an assembly, all of the details, all the components will be in the same folder. So I'm gonna do a save as. And I've got everything in this frame demo folder. Don't save it as a name. Don't let the software decide. I want you to use a naming system like this. So this is a frame part. So it's going to be FRM for frame, 285 for the class. So all of your detail drawings, all your components should start like that, 285. And then this part number, and I'm going to call it part number 213A. So when you save your parts as a number, that's what's going to show up in the, in the drawings as the drawing number. Okay, let's go ahead and go through that. So if I make a drawing from the part, let's make sure we use a B size piece of paper for our details. You'll notice, see what it shows up in the drawing number? That'll show up however you saved it. So don't save it as a name. Here in the title block is where you can go in. You can just use this note tool and you can type in the name of this part. In my case, I called it the front main tube. Okay, so again, save it as a number, type in the name. Don't save it as the name. I know it's kind of, it's easy to think like the name of the part, but that's the only way it's gonna make make it work out properly when you go to create a parts list as well. So then you can decide about your views. And so forth, which we'll get to that. But I just want you to start saving it as the name of the part, not uh, sorry, as the number of the part and typing in the name and again you save that drawing it'll save it as that number that I just gave it and so there's that finished 
piece of tubing.